today's topic about antioxidant they are also known as pre radical scavengers to protected from this free radicals there is cysteine is known as antioxidant defense mechanism how will define antioxidant there are these are the substance so how we will define these are the substance which inhibit or decrease the oxidation of component there are known as antioxidant so substance which inhibit or decrease the oxidation of component they are known as antioxidant coming to classification there are two main type of antioxidant first one is enzymatic antioxidant second one is non enzymatic antioxidant so first one include four main enzyme super oxide dismutase then catalase third one is glutathione peroxidase fourth one is glutathione reductase so these are the four enzymatic antioxidant now we explain one by one so first one is super oxide dismutase catalase glutathione peroxidase and glutathione reductase these are the four enzymatic antioxidant non enzymatic they classified into further two types one is nutritional or exogenous second one is endogenous this nutritional further classified into vitamins and minerals explain one by one in detail the action of super oxide dismutase and catalase it acts as super oxide ion radical this super oxide acts as super oxide anion radicals this one this one this one combined with the hydrogen ion to form hydrogen peroxide by the action of sod super oxide dismutase so here this super oxide ion radical combined with hydrogen ion to form hydrogen peroxide by the action of super oxide dismutase in this reaction it required magnesium copper and zinc for their action of sod it this sod having super oxide dismutase it have two types one is cystozoic sod second one is mitochondrial sod this cystolic sod activities required copper and zinc so the cystozoic sod activity they required copper and zinc mitochondrial sod they required magnesium so this super oxide ion combined with hydrogen uh, presence of sod to form hydrogen peroxide okay. it required in this reaction with the help of catalase uh, and peroxidase it will converted into water molecules this is the mechanism of sod and catalase super oxide dismutase and catalase it also important in respiratory burst there is enhancement of bacteria by the macrophages oxygen demand is increases oxygen demand is increases in this oxygen is converted into super oxide ion super oxide radical with the help of nadph oxidase system it will converted into hydrogen peroxide then presence of catalase and peroxidase enzyme it will converted into water molecules now coming to uh, glutathione peroxidase 
this glutathione peroxidase act on hydrogen peroxide by the action of glutathione peroxidase it is converted into water molecules and O2 it will converted into H2O and O2 this reaction depend on reduced glutathione is con converted into oxidized glutathione so this one this H2O2 presence of glutathione peroxidase enzyme it will converted into uh, water and O2 this reaction depending upon reduced glutathione is converted into oxidized glutathione and again regenerated with the help of NADPH depended on glutathione reductase enzyme this is the mechanism of glutathione oxidase next lipid peroxidation it is it has a role this uh, ROOH hydrogen peroxide radical of TOFA this one is hydrogen peroxide radical combined with the reduced glutathione to form hydroxy fatty acid water molecules and oxidized glutathione this ROOH hydroperoxide radical combined with reduced glutathione uh, this one selenium dependent one to form hydroxy fatty acid water and oxidized glutathione it has a role in lipid peroxidation this one have, uh, have role in lipid peroxidation also the free radical which are generated via the lipid peroxidation this ROOH is lipid hydroxy radical with the help of reduced glutathione converted into hydroxy fatty acid unstable form is converted into stable form these are the enzymatic enzyme dependent antioxidant next discuss about non enzyme enzyme dependent antioxidant it have two types uh, one is nutritional or exogenous second one is endogenous component this nutritional or uh, endogenous component again divided into vitamins and minerals main vitamins include vitamin c that is ascorbic acid then alpha tocopherol from vitamin e then uh, beta carotene this one is vitamin a so vitamin uh, include three vitamins vitamin e vitamin c and vitamin a c e a three vitamins next minerals minerals also act as antioxidant four important minerals zinc magazine copper and selenium zinc magazine and copper these three are super oxide dismutase dependent one this one this selenium is presented in glutathione peroxidase so zinc magazine and copper these three are presented in SOD superoxide dismutase selenium is presented in glutathione peroxidase then next one is endogenous component ceruloplasmin uric acid transferrin will rubin lipoic acid ubq known and coenzyme q they act as antioxidant and phytochemicals produced by plant they act as antioxidant 
non enzymatic antioxidant nutritional or exogenous here vitamins and minerals endogenous these are the component act as a anti accident agent now how does vitamin e and c act as a anti accident this vitamin e these are chain breaking anti accident the most active form is alpha tocopherol this one or o o that superscript dot this is lipid peroxide lipid peroxide produced in a lipid peroxidation which combined with the reduced form of vitamin e okay it combined with the reduced form of vitamin e to form r o o h lipid hydroxy peroxide and oxidized vitamin e this oxidized vitamin e again converted into reduced form with the help of vitamin c here vitamin c spare the functions of vitamin e in anti accident property so this lipid peroxide combined with the reduced form of vitamin e to form lipid hydroxy this one lipid hydroxy peroxide plus oxidized form of vitamin e this oxidized vitamin e again converted into reduced form of vitamin e with the help of vitamin c here vitamin c is for the functions of vitamin e in anti accident property this vitamin c again it has two important role vitamin c ascorbate combined with the super oxide ion radical to form hydrogen peroxide and mono uh, dehydro mono dehydro ascorbate mono uh, dehydro ascorbate so as uh, ascorbate bind with the super oxide ion to form hydrogen peroxide plus mono dehydro ascorbate dehydro ascorbate again uh, with the help of catalyze and peroxidase enzyme this hydrogen peroxide is converted into to form water molecules again ascorbate combined with the hydroxy radical to form water and mono dehydro ascorbate so ascorbate bind with the hydroxy radical to form water molecules and mono dehydro ascorbate so this is role of vitamin c and e act as anti accident then beta carotene and or that pro vitamin a also act as a anti accident vitamin c along with the vitamin e helps in prevention of lipid peroxidation and also help in prevention of cataract so vitamin c and e help for prevention of lipid peroxidation and cataract so these are the endogenous component like uh, uh, ceruloplasmin uric acid transferrin bilirubin lipofolic acid ubiquinone and uh, coenzyme q they also act as a anti accident they decrease oxidative rays and helpful helpful prevent you uh, prevent harmful effect of free radicals called free radical scavengers
Thanks for watching.